All right, my friends, what is going on? Let's kick it off. We got Tumblr on the line, and we've got Spreaker.com on the line, my friends. How's it going? It's late night podcast, almost 3 o'clock in the morning, worldwide live ministry podcast. Friends is on the air. And, uh, hey, we're live, friends, uh, as I'm, I'm getting, uh, getting the channels together, my friends, what is going on? How you guys doing? Late night podcast, again, we're hitting all the channels, friends, um, no, I was gonna go on Twitter and Periscope live, but we're gonna do that tomorrow. Uh, yes, uh, you know, as the night rolls on into the morning, my friends, man, oh man, have we got so much to do, so much message to get out, friends. That's right, we do. Uh, so let me, uh, let me go over here to our Spreaker channel, friends, amen. Uh, let me jump over here. So, amen, my friends. Live on the air, again, friends, late night, hitting uh, Spreaker.com with iHeartRadio, iTunes, all that good stuff. Hey, we, we're on the air here, friends, live, hitting our Tumblr channel. Uh, as I'm still waiting for the Anchor channel to load in and uh, go live, it's uh, still having some issues. So we've got it. It is uploaded. The brand new podcast we just did. We've been hitting all the channels tonight. And uh, my gosh, friends, we are we're active right now, friends. Amen. Episode twenty six over at our uh, anchor channel, friends. That's right. We are. So there I go. I finally got it pulled up. Episode 26. Can you believe that already, friends? That's amazing. Uh, we've got all those channels, all the shows going live. Uh, so hang on here, friends. Uh, let's see if I could do this. Amen. All right. So I got a little bit of homework tonight, friends. Now, hopefully, Tumblr, you guys can see me okay. Uh, getting that channel going on, going on, going on, my friends. Man. So that uh, we're getting that channel over at Anchor.com, friends. I'm excited. Man, oh, man, what a night, friends. We've been hitting all our channels. Like I said, just came off of Blog Talk Radio. Hit uh, Anchor, CastBox. Uh, the Facebook Live, YouTube. Now, we lost our YouTube uh, channel because apparently, uh, apparently, uh, there are volume issues, my friends. And, uh, man, I don't understand that. I had it all going on, hitting it up, and we lost it. So, I'm going to have to work that out somehow, get that going. Amen. There we are. We're live, my brothers and sisters, live on air. Uh, and uh, we're live, friends. That's cool. Hey, there we go. So, checking the channels here, friends. I wanted to make sure we're live. Uh, there we go. See, we got commercials, friends. Can you believe that? We got commercials. On our channel, friends. Amen. All right. There we go. So I'm checking. There we go. Wow. All right. All right. So we're live, friends. There we go. If you can uh, catch our channels right here. That is so cool. My friends, we are on the air live right now. Spreaker.com is in the house. Amen. There we go. 
Oh, of course, I got to do this again, my friends. Hang on. Uh, my gosh. All right, so I got to uh, hit the... Uh, I've got to go and, and, and log into Twitter. Can you believe that, friends? I'm already in Twitter. I've already got it loaded in and locked in. And they make me still go in and uh, redo my password. That is crazy. All right. Oh, my gosh, friends. I don't know about that. What is wrong with Twitter? My friends, what is going on with that channel? Hey, man, Tumblr, how you doing? We're live, friends, all over the world, all over the Internet. Oh, my gosh. So let me log in here. It's going to make me, kick me back out. And um, I have to go back in there and try to log back in. That's crazy. Hey, man, friends, how you guys doing? What is up, my friends? I'm trying to log in here. It kicked me out. I have to go back in there and redo it. Amen. So, hang on here, friends. It's not letting me in. So, it is Friday morning, friends. 8 a.m. in the morning, almost 3 o'clock. Can you believe that? Well, I got a lot to say, friends. We're hitting all the channels. We've been we've been buzzing all night long, friends, since around uh, nine or ten o'clock, I think. And uh, you know that's because the the spirit uh, has got me on a lot. Amen. And I don't know what it is, but it's I got kicked off my Twitter. That don't make no sense, friends. <laughs> Amen. Well, we're going to keep at it until I get in there. Because we've got to let our Twitter friends know, my friends. A.M. A.M. and Amen, friends. Can you believe that? We're on it. We're all over the place. Friends, our Spreaker channel, iHeartRadio, iTunes tumblr.com and I know I'm getting blocked out here by uh, as I was going to sneeze can you believe that mess already I was going to sneeze again uh, all right all right here friends so give me a second uh, all right Oops, hang on here, friends. I'm logging in. I'm uh, multi-channeling tonight. Amen. All right, my brothers and sisters, we're having church service tonight. Hallelujah, amen. Pastor Rick Rally here, live, worldwide, live ministry podcast, my friends. Amen and amen. All right, so I copied it. We're pasting it. It's live. We got it. And uh, where else? I think I already did Google. I don't know. Uh, let's see. There we go. Hey, we're on WordPress too, my friends. There we go. Uh, let's see, let's get to my buddy here, let's get to my friend, uh, because we are, we're all over it, friends, amen, can you believe that? Uh, so let me update here, friends, we are, I want to make sure we get this message out, it is so vital, my friends, that's right. This good news gospel message is so vital, my friends. Amen. Doing a triple, quadruple, triple shot, friends. We're hitting every channel and uh, every podcast, my friends. 
All right, so give me a second here, friends. We are uploading. Uh, so, all right. All right, here, friends. Give me a second. We know we're multitasking. Amen. So, give me a second here, my friends. All right. Hang on here, friends. We're, like I said, we're multitasking. We're getting this message. We're live on Spreaker right now, live on Tumblr right now. It's, uh, it is going like crazy, my friends. All right. So hang on here, friends. Sorry about the quiet time. Uh, all right, my brothers and sisters multitasking we're live on the air pastor Rick Rowley here uh we've got everybody on the line we have everybody we've embedded the uh the channel here we've embedded the uh show and uh holy cow friends we are live all over the world world wordpress copying it that's right live on the internet friends and uh, there we go. Hotmail code, iframe, all of it, friends. We are live. Amen. What is going on, friends? Oh, uh, my gosh. Now, we just came off of Blog Talk Radio. We are live on the air right now. Uh, all over the Internet. Oh, it is so good, friends. I'm glad to be here, Pastor Crowley. Like I said, let's get into the message. We got no time to waste because the devil's on his the devil's on his post, friends, twenty four seven. So let me here. I'm going to move the Tumblr channel up or the camera up here for Tumblr.com, friends. It's getting a little bit of a coaster ride here, and uh, as I move. There we go. Sorry about that, Tumblr. You're going to get a, a little bit of a, a ride here. Uh, I wanted to make sure. I guess I should have done that before, but I had to use the computer. The laptop, my friends. What is going on? My brothers and sisters have a church right here. Friends, amen. Yeah, we just came off of uh, Anchor, CastBox, Blog Talk Radio, Ustream TV, Facebook Ministry Page, had a uh, we had live we were live over at um, at our YouTube channel, but for some reason there was no volume. I don't know what it was. I'm not sure, friends. But uh, so I'm redoing it. We're live on Spreaker. I love this channel. I finally got the updates going, and I finally uh, was able to. Um, you know, finally able to uh, finally able to uh, do the upgrades for Blog Talk Radio and Spreaker. We're gonna keep them going, friends. Uh, no reason to stop. No reason to slow down. Uh, just keep them rolling, and uh, you know, uh, try to keep uh, keep them going. Keep them uh, keep them loaded up, my friends. Hey, Amen. That is for sure. All right, so I just checked it out, friends. We are live. We got Facebook, Google Live Hangouts, friends, and Twitter Live. You can check this out on the air. Multitasking like crazy, my friends, my brothers and sisters. How you doing? Let's get into the podcast. We got no time to waste. Like I said, the the devil's on a, on his uh, post, and friends, we got to be on our post, so... That's why I'm up late, my friends. It's almost 3 o'clock in the morning. Can you believe that? But, God, you know, Spirit's got a lot to say. He's given me a lot, friends. And uh, we're going to do our Bible study. Uh, chapter 19 and 20 uh, in the book of Luke, friends. No kidding. We're, we're going to get that uh, Bible study done. Uh, and then, uh, hey, we're going into the book of John. I'm excited. You should be excited about the word of god my friends that's right so uh, moving maneuvering and moving 
stuff around, friends. Let's just open up in prayer, shall we? Let's get this going. I'm excited. I know. Uh, and hey, guess what? We're going to go back on the air. I'm live tomorrow. Uh, I think around 2, maybe 2, 3 o'clock. I, I scheduled Blog Talk Radio for 4 o'clock, but I'm going to hit it at, four, at uh, probably 2. Got a lot to do, doing some uh, yard work. Uh, we're live in the new studio, but lots of home, lots of yard work to do, friends. And I'm still working on podcast messages. I'm not even done. I still got more pages to go. Uh, but that's, you know, hey, if, if you're in the Word of God, friends. You're on a mission from God. He always gives you plenty of stuff to do. You're never bored. Uh, and if you're bored, you're just not working it right, friends. You're not working a program right. You're not working what God gives you, friends. Amen. Oh, my gosh, friends. Let's get going. Heavenly Father, just come before you right now. As I, I'm on your mission. I give you thanks, glory, honor, and praise. As I continue your work, I continue your message. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much. It's all of you and none of me as I pour, uh, pour myself into what you have given me to do. You called me on this task and this mission, and I'm moving forward in it, not stopping, going forward, and uh, sharing your good word. Uh, and your messages as your son did and as the disciples carried on the message uh, i'm doing that too god and, and, and you know what's in my heart you know that i'm i'm working in, uh, in your will and uh being of your business father god and so i just thank you and i just want to lift up my friends viewers here is everybody listening i want to lift them up right now i want to give them courage and strength and hope and you know, and uh, as I just cast all our cares upon you, God, I just uh, encourage them to hear your words, God, and hear your messages as I'm reading your words. God, I just lift up my friends and my family and and everybody that can hear and, and listen to this message. I just lift them up, God. I just uh, just give it to you uh, as I'm just a voice in the wilderness crying out. Uh you know, as we we live in a discouraging world, and as things so much things are happening right now, uh, we block them, we cast them out, we throw them away. We know that you are our encourager, and the devil is the discourager. He puts doubts and thoughts in our minds to discourage us, uh, us from doing what you ask us to do, God. So I just lift this up to you right now in your praise, honor, and glory in your son's precious holy name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. All right, my precious friends. How's it going? Pastor Rick Rally here live, worldwide, live ministry podcast. We are on the air, friends. Late night, early morning, Friday. It is your weekend podcast, friends, and I am excited. Hey, I got my fresh coffee. Uh, we got the word, we got the books, right? We got our pens, papers, notebook, tablets, uh, our precious word of God. Amen, friends. And I'm excited, ecstatic to be here, friends. I even got a suit jacket on for you. That's how we roll up in this house, my friends. So glad to be here. It's Friday morning, Pastor Rick Rally here. In the brand new studio, getting the heater going this week. We're putting in that, uh, you know, a couple more pieces of the ceiling, uh, and also putting in uh, some more. Uh, you know, we're we're getting that uh, furnace put in our our wood burning stove here. Hey, we're we're gearing up for the winter, friends. I'm not kidding. Uh, it's time. It's time to get the heater going. Turn up the heat on the devil, friends. That's what we got to do. Uh, every day, no matter what, we got to get into the Word of God. I've got some shout outs I'm going to give you. We got to get that going. Let's kick that off, my friends. Uh, right off the bat, Miss Susan, you made the list, darling, and great, grateful uh, for your support. That is so cool in your prayers and stuff. Miss Christina, my good friend on Facebook, I appreciate you so much, too. Miss Sophie, my CBN friends, check it out, friends. I'm all over. I'm not kidding. I prayed on this, friends, for years to try to get this, uh, you know, uh, on all the major channels, and and God has did it. 
Won't he do it, friends? Our God is awesome. So, uh, my friend Sophie, my CBN friend on um, on uh, my CBN. There we go. In Switzerland. Can you believe that? We're in Switzerland, friends. Amen. Hey, I got a moth flying around. He wants to hear the word of God. We got a mouse up there somewhere. I can hear him kicking around. Uh, well, that's all right. He needs the word too, friends. Uh, Miss Laura, my Facebook family and friends, I appreciate you so much, darling. Hang in there. God's got you. He's got a he's got a good message for you. Well, lots of stuff for you. Uh, Miss Tiffany Blackwell Ministries on Facebook, of course. Uh, on fire for the Lord, friends. Check her out. She's got a lot to say. Uh, as you go over to a uh, Facebook page, that's awesome. And of course, Miss Jackie, my friend over at uh, Facebook and Periscope Live, my friends. Check her out, man. What a spitfire for God, of course. Always got something good to share with you. Appreciate that so much. Uh, did I mention my brother Mark at the Christian Watchers of the 2017-2024 Solar Eclipses group. What a, what a mouthful to say there, but man, go check it out, friends. I, uh, I think I said that, but uh, yeah, you got to check it out, friends. Live uh, messages all the time going on. Behave yourself and mind the rules. Brother Michael, watch ya. Amen. And uh, say hi to the gang. Uh, what a good group of Friends, that is friends. I appreciate those guys so much. Uh, Brother Mark, keep up the work, man. You've, you've got it. And uh, we're praying for you. Send in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, be encouraged, my brother, because uh, the devil is the discourager and God is our, dis our encourager. That's right. Uh, don't forget my, I forgot my, to mention, I've got a couple of friends too. I forgot to mention, but I wanted to add them. Brother Michael Pastor Michael Holcomb, uh, Bible Days Ministries, my fellow iHeart uh, Radio uh, podcast brother uh, in Christ. Uh, man, he's uh, listened to him, friends. I, I would go recommend him. Uh, brother Pastor. Michael Holcomb on Bible Days Ministries. I love to I love to use his catchphrase that he's got. God got something to say to you, friends. Yes, he does. Coming to you by assignment. I'm sorry, brother. I had to take that. I love that. Uh, on assignment. Coming to you live by assignment, friends. That is so cool. Lots to man. Lots to lots to get out there, friends. Hey, don't forget, we have got our brother. Uh, uh, Pastor Craig Day off the mountain in the studio working on his podcast, friends. Uh, doing a little bit of soul searching, some praying, and the Holy Spirit has given him so much, friends. We're gearing up, we're getting ready. Uh, soon, my friends, be patient. He's got lots to share. Uh, I'm gonna bring him in the studio, do an interview. And uh, have him on the other mic uh, as we are set up, friends. I am loaded, ready to go. Uh, getting on a full-time podcast schedule, my friends. Man, oh man, we got lots to say, lots to share. I'm getting into the book of Luke, friends, chapter 19 and 20 tonight. As we're, gonna, we're getting real close here, friends, uh, to finishing out... Uh, our Bible study on uh, in the book of Luke, and then we're going to be hitting John, John the man, John the brother, John the revelator, John the Baptist, friends. We're going to get into his. I'll, I'll do a little bit of the background, uh, his purpose, author, the character of the book, the date and the place of the compensation uh, or composition, the prologue, the ministry in the world, ministry in his own, the sufferings and the glory in the epilogue. Friends, I got so much to give you, so much to share. My gosh, friends. Hey, we're live, by the way. Did I tell you? Did I mention? We're live on the air right now. Three o'clock in the morning. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have a, a late sleep this morning, friends. I've already got breakfast set. My coffee is brewed. 
And, uh, man, lots to give you, friends. We're on double, triple overtime, uh, hitting every channel. Now, like I said, except for the Twitter and Periscope, friends, I uh, just wanted to get on the Spreaker channel and, uh, of course, the Tumblr channel, friends. It's Pastor Rick R. at Tumblr.com. Live on the air, friends. Now, I won't go too long. I just want to get this message out. A couple of scriptures. Armor of God time, my friends. Let's get into it. Let's give it some coffee. Amen. You know, I always got to give this to it. This is a standard of the podcast channel, friends. And my friends, I forgot again, uh, Pastor Oni in Japan. Konnichiwa, domo arigato, my brother in Christ. I appreciate your prayers and your thoughts and the messages that you've been sending. That is so awesome. Uh, a good three or four years here. Uh, and also, Midori, my good friend Midori on my Periscope channel. Konnichiwa. Domo arigato. Amen. And don't forget, I did forget, didn't I? I did it again. Uh, my good brother, my good friend pastor on my CBN channel, uh, KY 95.5 FM, friends. Go check them out. Uh, J. David Ford and his wife Rose are on the air 24 7. Uh, radio, friends. It's the internet radio, plus, it's actually a college and it's a real live station uh, on the air in Ennis, Texas, friends. KY 95.5 all over the internet. Twitter and uh, of course, you know, iHeartRadio, all the other channels. It's all over the place. Pretty cool, friends. Hey, let's get into it. Let's uh, do our armor, friends. Uh, you know, because like I said, friends, the devil is always on his post. He don't take no vacations, so why do we need to uh, take a break, friends? Let's keep and stay in the word. Amen. Finally, my brothers and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes for our struggle my friends my brothers and sisters is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers against the authorities against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces in the heavenly realms Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with a belt of truth buckled around your waist, with a breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. And in addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts or the arrows of the evil one. And he's out there, friends. He's attacking. He's on full alert. Uh, so take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the Word of God. It's the Bible, friends. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert. Be sober. Always keep in Keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Amen. And pray also for me that whenever I speak, words may be given to me so that I will fearlessly or boldly make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains and bonds, and pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. That's right, friends. Amen and amen. And the church says, Brother Amen, my friend. Well, we're we're going to get into the Bible study here, friends. You know, I want to get into that and, and work that through as we hear the words of our precious Lord and Savior, friends. Uh, glad you guys are here, Pastor Crowley, live, worldwide live ministry. Uh, we are live at Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Google, uh, Tumblr.com, right? And uh, what else? 
We're live also on Vimeo.com, friends. We're all over the net. I don't even remember half the channels that I that I added to, and uh, you know. All right, so I'm going to go into this real quick here, friends. I got a couple of. Them. We're going to go into the into into the Book of John. I uh, kind of advance here a little bit. Uh, amen. Just a little bit here. I'm going to jump just a little bit into the book of John. We're going to do this Christology thing. Uh, it's in the, uh, it's in the uh, Orthodox Study Bible. I'm not going to give it away because we are we haven't gotten there yet. We're still in the book of Luke, friends. But this is really good. Um, the Word it becomes flesh to reveal the Father. Amen. So, this is, I, I really like this book. There's a lot to it. Uh, amen. And uh, <laughs> I want to, I want to get into the book of John, but we, you know, we got to, we got to do what the Spirit says, friends. Amen. Because uh, he's given me all of the, the entire books, friends. Uh of, uh, of the word. So, oops, hang on here, friends. I'm multitasking again. I just uh, trying to go through this. All right. So, give me a quick second, my brothers and sisters. We're having church service tonight again, friends. That's right. We're putting a pressure on the devil uh, because he just won't leave us alone, friends. So, you stay in the word, friends. Uh, and you deflect the devil's attacks, right? I know there was something in there I was going to say, but uh, all right, let me let me go into this. Let me do this here. Let me shift over, friends, to do this here. The Baptist witness to the word as we are in John one. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which gives light to every man coming into the world. Uh, amen. And uh, he was in the world, and the world was made through him. And the word, or the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, uh, we know this one here, friends. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God. To those who believe in the name, who were born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. The word becomes flesh to reveal the Father. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen. Now John bore witness of him and cried out, saying, This is he of whom I said, He who comes after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of this fullness... We have all received in grace for grace. Uh, for the law was given uh, through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. And no one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son who is, uh, is, is in the bosom of the Father, He has declared Him. Amen. And that's all I'm going to do, friends. I'm not going to give that away. That is so good. We're getting close, friends. We are in uh, chapter 19 next, friends. That's what we're going to do. So I want to give you this, friends. This is really good. This is uh, out of the study Bible. Amen. And uh, I want to make sure that I shared this with you. Amen. So let me get this here, my friends. Uh, amen. It's uh, Christology. Now, the center of Christianity is the Lord Jesus Christ himself. In fact, 
He is the centerpiece of all history. But the world struggles with his identity. Who is he? Is he God? Is he man? Both? And the scriptures clearly answer these crucial questions. In his gospel, John gives a specific and definitive uh, explanation of who Christ is. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In one one, John the Baptist, the forerunner of Christ, revealed God as the Word, as the light. In one seven, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. One fourteen, who then is Jesus Christ? One, two, and three, friends, here he is. He is God, for he was with God from before all time. Clearly, the one born Jesus of Nazareth did not have his beginning in his earthly birth. Rather, he is the eternal Son of God without beginning. Uh, there was, or there never was a time when the Son of God did not exist. He is also man, for he became flesh. He has become one of us, being like us in all things, but without sin. Uh, three, he acts both as God and as man, doing what is appropriate for each nature in the unity provided by his one divine person. Uh, amen. Never does uh, divine nature and activity become changed into human nature and activity. The two are in union without confusion. Christ does, however, energize human nature with divine energy so that human nature is redeemed from sin and death and brought into union with God. He thus defies humanity. The miracle of these incomparable truths is known as the knowledge of Christ, or Christology. Many documents have expounded on Christology, but the definitive text is the Nicene Creed. The outcome of the first and second ecumenical councils in the fourth century, the Creed of Chalcedon, issued by the fourth uh, at communical council in AD 451. It embodies other truths concerning the incarnation of the word. These creeds set the doctrinal fences outside of which we do not wonder in our knowledge of Christ. The Apostle John bears witness to Christ that which uh, was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled concerning the word of life, the life was manifested, and we have seen and bear witness and declare to you that eternal life which was the Father and was manifested to us. That which we have seen and heard we declare to you, that you also may have fellowship with us, and truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ, in 1 John 1, 1, 3, or 1, 3. We too bear witness to Jesus Christ, for since God became man and we were uh, united with Him in baptism, we experience His incarnation in our lives, the miracle of Christology for us in that, or is that, as the Son of God became man, we in turn may participate in God. Well, there you go, friends. Man, is that good. Lots of homework, friends. You know, hey, if I, uh, if I got homework, friends, I'm going to give you guys some homework. That's right. Amen. All right. So let's get right straight into our Bible study. We got no time to waste, my friends. It's on, you know, uh, because, uh, hey, the devil started it. And uh, our Lord and Savior is coming, friends. It's no doubt about that. Just a matter of timing. And, uh, man, is he 
Is he going to be mad? Amen. Well, our Tumblr channel looks like we finished that, my friends. Uh, so <laughs> I didn't expect that. I thought we were going to have some more time. Well, amen. That's all right. Amen. All right. We're still on it, friends. We're still on Spreaker. Amen. Now, don't forget Vimeo.com. Uploading to Vimeo tonight's podcast. Uh, right here at Spreaker, you guys are going to be able to get that. Amen. So, go to Vimeo.com, friends, for this night's, for tonight's podcast. We're going to finish up here. We're going to do chapter 19, so let's get over there. In the book of John, or Luke here, friends, chapter 19. Jesus and Zacchaeus. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho, and behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was a little or little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up onto a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus uh, let's see, hang on here, friends. I don't want to trip up my wires here. Lots of cords. <laughs> Amen. And as he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. For he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to place, he looked up and saw him, and he said unto him, Zacchaeus! Make haste and come down, for today I must abide in thy house, or at thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was gone uh, to be guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have taken anything for many men by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. And he, and Jesus said unto him, This day of salvation has come to this house, for as much as he also is a sign of or the son of Abraham. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Now the parable of the ten pounds. We're going to run into some parables here, friends, and I'll I'll do that tomorrow. Um, I will. Uh, I'll explain, kind of expand on uh, more of uh, the parables. I love that. Um, and as they heard these things, he added and spake a parable, because he was nigh to Jerusalem, and because they thought that the kingdom of God should immediately appear. Uh, he said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom uh, and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him, saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, that he commanded these servants to be called upon him or unto him to whom he had given the money and that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. And then came the first saying, Lord, thy pound, uh, thy pound hath gained 10 pounds. And he said unto him, well, Thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, uh, have uh, thou authority over ten cities. And then the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. And he said likewise to him, Be thou also over five cities. And another came, saying, Lord, behold, Here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. For I feared thee, because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up 
that thou layest down, not down, and repeat or repeatest that thou did not so. And he saith unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an astore man, taking up that I had laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore, then gavest not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own with usury? And he said unto them, and stood by, Take him, or take from him the pound, and give it to him that hath ten pounds. That they said unto him, Lord, he hath ten pounds. For I say unto you, that unto every one which hath shall be given, and from him that hath not, uh, even that he hath, uh, shall be taken away from him. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, uh, bring hither and slay them before me. Now Jesus enters Jerusalem, and when he had thus spoken, uh, he went before, ascending up to Jerusalem. And it came to pass, when he was come nigh to Bethphage and Bethany at the mountain, or the mount called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go ye into the village over against you, in which at your entering ye shall find a cult tied wherein yet never uh, never man sat. Loose him and bring him hither. And if any man ask you, Why do you loose him? Thus shall ye say unto him, Because the Lord hath need of him. And they that were sent went their way and found even as he had said unto them, and as they were loosing the colt, the owners thereof said unto them, Why loose ye the colt? Um, and they said, The Lord hath need of him. And they brought him to Jesus, and they cast their garments upon the colt, and they sat or set Jesus thereon. And as he went, they spread their clothes in the way. And when he had come nigh, even now, at the descent, or descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen, saying, uh, blessed he, the king, that cometh in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven, the glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees among them, the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke thy disciples. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. Now, Jesus weeps over Jerusalem. And when he was come near, uh, he beheld the city and wept over it, saying, If thou hast known, even thou, at least in this thy day, the things which belong unto the peace are thy peace, but now they are hid from thine eyes. For the day shall come upon thee that thine enemy shall cast a trench about thee and compass thee round, and keep thee on every side, and shall lay thee even with the ground, and thy children within thee, and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another, because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation. The cleansing of the temple. And he went into the temple and began to cast out them that sold therein, and them that bought, saying unto them, It is written, My house is the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. And he taught daily in the temple, but the chief priest 
and the scribes and the chief of the people sought to destroy him. And he could not find what they might do. For all the people were very attentive to hear him. Well, friends, man, there we go. We, we're at uh, chapter 20. Friends, that's fantastic. We're getting there. Amen. So I think we'll stop right there, and we will continue the Bible study, friends, at chapter 20. I want to make sure I get all of this, friends. There's so much in here that I want to get. Uh, you know, the Spirit is very patient, and He is teaching me uh, to make sure I, I get all the message, not just part of it. I want to get all the message for you. Uh, so we're going to dig back in, friends. We're going to we're going to head back over to our uh, to our Orthodox Study Bible. Now I want to give you this, friends, because I did this before and it was really good. Uh, in the Book of John, like I said, we're heading there, friends, getting close. But uh, I want to make sure that uh, I really kind of include everything. Um, friends, the new birth. Can you believe that? Uh, it is so good. I love this part. Amen. Uh, in the book of John, friends, early in his ministry, Jesus revealed the way to enter God's eternal kingdom. We must be born again. In three, hang on here, friends. I'm adjusting my microphone again. Can you believe that? Uh, now in three, three, a birth from above realized by water and the Spirit. In his conversation with Nicodemus, Christ uh, states, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. In three, five. Now from the beginning, the church has recognized the water to be water of baptism. Now the Spirit to be the Holy Spirit. Therefore, the new birth consists of being joined to Christ on the water of baptism or in the water of baptism and receiving the Holy Spirit through anointing or chrismation. Now salvation is more than forgiveness of sin. Uh more than mental uh, a mental acceptance of Christ and his teachings. For in salvation we are given union with God through Christ, uh, a right and full relationship with the Holy Trinity, and the restoration of our full humanity. All these things are accomplished through the Incarnation, the union of God and the man, in the person of Jesus Christ. Salvation then is founded on a substantial union of the believer with Christ in his full humanity, a flesh-to-flesh -flesh relationship. Paul likens it to the joining of a husband and wife in Ephesians 5, uh, 5.23 and 32. Amen. Throughout their epistles, the apostles remind us the new birth is necessary for salvation. Amen. Now that is a uh, key if you happen to take notes there, brothers and sisters. Check that out. The new birth is necessary for salvation. Uh, we die to sin, then buried with Christ and risen with him. We are uh, united to Christ and to his body. The church, we are cleansed, justified, and sanctified all in baptism. Uh, the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit in Titus 3 5, without a repentance and faith, however, immersion in water would be of no effect. Now, some Christians bypass baptism and stress only faith. Why is the mystery of the water necessary, you ask? Friends, I'm going to tell you, brothers and sisters, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you here, I'm going to show you what this has to say. Uh, 
because just as Christ actually died on a cross, was buried and rose again, all through his faith in God's grace, so we must actually be immersed in the sacramental waters of baptism made effectual through our faith and God's grace. The basic form of baptism is simple. The person to be born again, joined to Christ, is immersed in the water three times in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Uh, in Matthew twenty-eight nineteen, Amen. The first century Didache teachers, if you do not have running water, use whatever is available. And if you cannot do it in cold water, use warm. But if you have neither, pour water on the head three times in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the new birth, a true mystery takes place. For in the sacrament of baptism, we die going down into the water to be mystically united to Christ in his death. And we live again, rising up out of the water in his resurrected humanity. And in short, we are born again. Friends, there you go. That's why this is so important. Uh, Amen. Oh uh, my gosh. Well, we're almost at an hour, friends. I got a lot to load in, a lot to do. So let me go into this here, friends. Let me elaborate on the new birth uh, in 3.5 all the way down through 3.22. The birth of water and the Spirit is a direct reference to Christian baptism and the gift of the Holy Spirit given at Christmation, uh, Christ mission here. 3 8, a play on words, the Greek word uh, pneuma or pneuma means both wind and spirit. The working of the Holy Spirit is the new birth, is as mysterious as the source of and destination of the blowing wind. Likewise, the Spirit moves where He wills and cannot be contained by human ideas or agendas. In 3.12, according to St. John, earthly things refer to grace and baptism given to man. And these are earthly, not, not in a sense of unspiritual, but only in the sense that they occur on earth and are given to creatures. The heavenly things involve the ungraspable, or graspable, what? Ungraspable? Oh my gosh, friends, I'm tripping on the words here because I'm getting tired. But that's okay, I'm going to get through this. God wants this message out. It's ungraspable, there it is, mysteries of the eternal generation of the Son from the Father, And they relate to his eternal existence before all time and to God's divine plan of salvation for the world. A person first must grasp the ways in which God works among mankind before he can even begin to understand things that pertain to God himself. Now, 3.14, Moses lifted up an image of a serpent to uh, cure of the Israelite from deadly uh, bites of poisonous snakes in Numbers 21.4.9. Now, the miracle working image prefigured Christ uh, being lifted up on the cross. And as believers behold the crucified Christ in faith, the power of sin and death is overthrown in them just as the image of a serpent was, um, the weapon that destroyed the power of the serpents. So the instruments of Christ's death became the weapon that overthrows death itself. Uh, 3.16, to show the reason the Son must be crucified or lifted up, 
In verse 14, Jesus declares God's great love, uh, not only for Israel, but for the world. Uh, Let's see here. I went right over my notes. The single verse expresses the whole of the message of John's gospel, indeed of salvation history. Now, 317.18 and 3.22, while Christ came to save and not to condemn, man has free will. Thus, he can reject this gift and he becomes condemned by his own rejection. Man, power, friends. I'm telling you, lots of power messages tonight, friends. Amen. So we're going to get into that uh, soon again. Um, friends, I, I'm i going to give you this. You know, I got a... Where's my pen here? I, I'm trying to find my ink pen and put it away. Let's... Uh, no, let, I'm going to get into this, uh, friends. Uh, the Sinner's Prayer of Salvation, friends, we just talked about all that. We got into our Bible study tonight, and I uh, appreciate you guys being here. Pastor Raphael here, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast, Spreaker.com, just got done with uh, Anchor, CastBox, Vimeo.com, iHeartRadio. We're all over the map tonight, friends. Facebook ministry page. Uh, and like I said, and Blog Talk Radio, but we were at live on our, uh, on our, uh, where were we at? We were live at the uh, YouTube channel, friends, but for some reason, uh, it wasn't, there's no volume. So I'm going to look into that. I'll be back on tomorrow afternoon. Uh, probably try to get on our Twitter and Periscope friends page. Because, you know, i gotta, I got to get on there. But uh, right now, I'll close out with the Sinner's Prayer of Salvation, friends. If you guys want to do this and, and say this prayer with me, get get with me uh, and, and and go on our, on our uh, you know, any one of the podcast channels. You guys can get hit us up anywhere you want uh, at, um, you know, World Wildlife Ministry. Uh, or what is it? World Wildlife Ministries uh, 60 at gmail.com, our official email. So close your eyes, say this prayer with me, friends, and let, uh, let these words marinate in your soul and your hearts. And, uh, you know, you come to Jesus, friends. Amen. Is your Lord and Savior. We're going to repent here and, and uh, give, this, uh, give this to God, friends. We're going to close out with this. Sinner's Prayer of Salvation, friends. Dear Jesus, I know I am a sinner and I thank you for dying on the cross for me. I confess with my mouth, say this with me, friends, and I believe in my heart that you are the Son of God and I believe you are the Lord and that God raised you from the dead. Now, please forgive me of my sins because you're already forgiven, friends, and wash my heart clean. Come and live in my heart. Be the Lord of my life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and teach me to walk with you and live for you the rest of my life. Thank you for saving me and for giving me the gift of eternal life in heaven with you, precious friends. Uh, If you have said that prayer and you have accepted Christ into your hearts, good for you, my friends. I appreciate that so much, friends. And as I'm trying to get my notes. Amen, friends. Well, that's it, brothers and sisters. We've had some long church service tonight. We're in the book of uh, Luke tomorrow. Go into chapter 20 next again. Uh, so check out the other channels, friends, because we went into 2 Corinthians 6, 1 through 7, Ephesians, or Ephesians 1, 4, and 6, 1, 11 through 14, and uh, we went into John 14, 131, friends, uh, on the Facebook page. So check that out. I'll, and now I'm, I'm going to jump over to Luke 12. Uh, amen. I'll recap that. 
because, you know, that's always a good message. Uh, friends, you guys are awesome. I appreciate your continued support, brothers and sisters. You know, we do have our, uh, our what is it, uh, PayPal channel, friends, set up, page set up. You guys can, you know, if you feel it in your hearts, and, uh, you know, uh, uh Whatever's on your whatever's on your heart, uh, friends. You know we could we we could use the, the donations. We appreciate those that are supporting this ministry. Uh, you know God will provide. I know that, and I uh, just have my faith in Him. But I do appreciate your support, friends. So hit us up. Let us know, friends. If you if you feel free to donate into our ministry and uh, continue this ministry. Uh, friends, we appreciate that. Whatever's in your heart to to do that, friends. You know, uh, it, it it takes some it takes some uh, finances, uh, but we know God will provide. So I, you know, I I've been praying on this for a long time. So, but anyway, friends, if you you know find in your heart, we appreciate that. Hit us up, lifegraceministry sixty at gmail dot com, uh, anytime. So. Well, that's it, friends. I got a couple little edits to do, and I am out of here. I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, try to get on the Facebook page again, and probably Twitter and Periscope. We'll probably hit that up first. Uh, between, because it is Friday, so we'll be on at uh, about 3 or 4 o'clock. Blog Talk Radio. Amen. That's it, friends. We're out of here. Appreciate your time. Uh, and if you said that prayer, friends, get a hold of us. Uh, we would love to chat with you, talk with you, share some testimony and uh, coffee and donuts, friends. Amen. All right, friends. That's it. Church service, friends. Hitting all the channels. Uh, stay tuned to Periscope and Twitter Live tomorrow, friends. Later on today. Actually, I'm going to crash out, get some coffee, a little bit of coffee, then I'm going to crash out. Lots to go, lots to give you. Uh, we got a message. God's got a message for you, friends, that's for sure. Uh, book of Luke continued, Bible studies, more messages, lots to give you, lots to share. I appreciate your support. And there's our friendly little Kyle's friends. Not kidding, we're in the middle of a barn. I built the studio in the middle, in a room in the middle of a barn next to the goats and next to the coyotes. Got lots of them loading out tonight, friends. That's it. I'm out of here. I'll see you later. Have a good night. Blessings and Shabbat Shalom, friends. We are out of here. I'll see you later, friends. Amen. And share and like, friends. Amen.